Hello. Welcome back to some Rogue Legacy 2. It's me, Joey. Last episode, we played as a Ronin, who I've just realised now completely was at odds with itself. Because I had a Rage Shinter, which improved my damage from getting hit, but I couldn't attack when I got hit. So how does that make sense? But it was a good run, though. I got a bunch of apples and a bunch of health. What I'm going to do now is a bunch of fish on dry leg ones to try and kill the boss. But I don't try and do anything but fight the boss. I'd like to get, also get some more attack up. I'm not used to having so low HP or so low attack power. The Ronin was very strong. So I would quite like to get more. At least I have to do enough damage to kill them instantly. And also, unless the potions scale, you might actually want to get hit by a potion instead of an enemy, which is a consideration I haven't come to before. This is the land of many things. I'd like to see what that Heaven's Wing's about. Because I don't remember what it's about. Now, the benefit of this is that if I get hit, I don't have to play passive. I can play aggressive all the time. The downside of this is that I have to play aggressive all the time. Magic damage. I have no need for magical damage because I don't cast magic. No dashing. Ow. I was nearly there. It's always worth trying because these are relics that I don't have. Now, no dashing doesn't mean no flying, so I could have just. If I had the Astromancer, I could have just flown through it. That's the real shit. Yeah, I think it's better to get hit by them potions than it is. Obviously, if you can get hit by nothing, it's the best, but... If you have to get hit by a potion, it's better to get hit by that than an enemy. Lore. Always take lore. Ash clouds are a new source of energy. Before the dragon fell ill, it would fertilize the soil by participating in the nitrate rich dragon ash across the land. Since the sickness, though, the number of ash clouds is more than quadrupled. In addition, the chemical composition of these clouds has changed. The ash is denser and extremely conductive. Like storm clouds, they generate incredible amounts of electricity, with their frequent discharges are tearing away the sun tower. It is, however, theoretically possible to pull the electricity from the clouds via grounding poles, which could prove to be a limitless source of energy. A full free construction of the citadel would be necessary to harness this power, which would take many years. I shall stop my experiments within the study, and if it all goes well, I shall expand operations to the citadel. Ow. Yeah, sometimes I'm not sure how I could avoid that damage because I have to hit the thing. Well, the, the short answer, to answer my own question, is I don't need to fight every single enemy. I don't have to. There's nothing in the game saying I have to kill everything to leave the room. Like, you just don't fight them. Just don't bother. But it goes against my principles. I want to kill everything, so. 
that is going to lead to situations where I take more damage than I really should. As long as I recognise, though, that so long as I do the right things, I should be okay. Okay, this one I might actually be able to do. With the Ronin, it would be very easy, but... Wait. This is better. You want to know why it's better? Because I can actually avoid the potions. I thought about it for more than two seconds and realised... Being able to avoid hits is probably quite important. You bitch. Nada. Nothing at all. Okay, that's that's something new. Potions can destroy the boxes, which can destroy the other things. for the exit, really. As always, if I can get a bunch of relics and stuff, that'll help me, so... Bonk. Owie. All right. So, I'm heading in the right direction, I think. I want to go down in case it's a dead end. It isn't. Ow. So annoying. Just such stupid damage. It's all my fault, but still annoying. Okay, hang on. That's something I can do. I need to clear the way first. I can't really take it in this area like this. And take it. This area is much longer than I thought it would be. Oh, I panicked. I panicked so hard. I saw the axe. Even though it was not going to kill me. An actual bard run. I can't really, I can't really do that. I kind of like the Ronin, but I'll play as the Valkyrie because I've not played as the Valkyrie for a while. Right. Let's get our Relic cost down as, as far as it will go. And upgrade this because it's a, it's a thing I could upgrade. Hello. Have you ever spoken to the pizza lady, Ducky? She's a fascinating character and her soul grows, glows brightly too. There's something very special about her. I do not mean her pizza. I think she's someone you can trust. She's very charismatic for a pizza delivery person.
Okay. So, I've got to... Learn or reacquire what I do with the Valkyrie. What makes the Valkyrie special? Can attack while moving, can aim your attack. Ah yeah, I can go I can aim up, I can aim down. I can't aim in the diagonals, but I can hit straight upwards, so you can hit things through ceilings. Is essentially the the point. Keep forgetting they home. There you go. Bye bye. Do as much damage as you can while you're on this side of the map. These guys are just called lava. The naming department ran out of moves. Ran out of names, even. Luckily, they're not too strong. The Mr. Bones. Wild ride. I wish to get off. Okay. Thank you. Good for health. There's always some goodies in here. But just to prove me wrong. You bitch. Okay. So I can do these kinds of puzzles, but it's it's rarer than I'd like to admit that I do it correctly. Yeah, I think my attack is starting to let me down now. I want to be two-shotting these guys with most characters. Things like the Ronin, I can. But with things like the Valkyrie, I cannot. So it would be very nice to be able to. I want to get. It would be very nice to be able to just attack things in a much nicer way. kill them faster. What gets you killed in these isn't lack of HP, but often it's lack of damage. You just can't kill things fast enough, so you take damage trying to avoid. So if you have a playstyle like mine, where I know my strongest point is not my defensive play, then you just have to give up your offense so much that it doesn't matter that your defense is shit. At least that's how I see it. Not to the point where any hit will kill you, but to the point where you can kill things mostly in one go, so that if you don't play so well, it doesn't matter because the things you're attacking are dead. Does that make sense to anyone else or is it just me? It makes perfect sense to me. So 
Sometimes it's going to be four hitting it. Ah, I just walked along the path of the sword blade. I mean, this is the bad part where I'm like, I want to take max health all the time, but can I really afford it? That tips me over the edge. I'm, I'm going to do it. Bonk. Again, I, I always see this. If I, if I die, I wasn't going to live anyway. It's how I tend to see it. What the fuck is this? Nibiru Deep has been sealed up indefinitely. Scraps at the bottom of the placard has another message. In, S in memory of Estri Mehihel and his family, to the very best captain in the Star Wars crew, today just to his servant measure was earned. There's another warp point out of here. But I never knew that. Okay, well, off we go. On the relic hunt, we're looking for good things. The fire and poison combo springs to mind. As a very good combo. Of course, again, the downside I've got is that I uh, can't really do much besides trying to um, live the way, the best way I can. Let's take this. The heavy stone bargain. Yeah. I have a cooldown on my weapon. But it does twice as much damage. So now I'll be two-shotting most things. But I'll be slow as molasses. I took it so I could understand what it did. I know from the boss fights I should know what they are but I don't remember every single item in the game. I'm sorry. So now what I want to do this changes my approach to the problem a little bit. Now what I want to do is make sure that I get things that increase my power. Like the for example like the um, hourglass. The hourglass is already something that I have to take a while to get so I might as well upgrade it and make my attack even powerful when I even more powerful when I do get to attack that's how I see it at this minute rather than it saying cool down ready I'd rather it just went every time I tried to attack that I couldn't because then I would be able to tell For example, on the box that this completely ruins the box's character. It's just like completely ru like it's ruined. But on the Valkyrie, it's actually alright. Now That's fine, yeah, I want this. I, I can't take that. Sure. Kill 10 enemies without getting hit once. And get an extra 50 resolve. Suddenly eyeballs and things become extremely deadly. But the magic damage, pretty good. I've just got to play. In a much more courteous manner. I can still do that, by the way. There we go. It's purified. Right, so I've got an extra 50 resolve. The reason I didn't take my poison is again in a normal build I would have taken the poison and then I probably would have taken the double poison so triple poison but I um, can't really do anything with it I, I'd get one stack of poison every two seconds which would run out again by the time I tried to apply it so it would be decent but it wouldn't be you know amazing
Those rooms become pretty untenable to do. I'm thinking the chain will help against the boss if I get that far. Because they will... Lose one stack of their ability to take hits. You know what I mean? Like the, the stack of four armor, they'll lose one stack. Everyone will because they'll they'll be near the boss. But this is not a boss killing build. I do 140 damage, which is okay, but it's not incredible. jump is good. Thank you. Double jump is very useful. Bonk. Alright. Yeah, so now I'm doing about as much damage as a Ronin crit, except I can only do it every two seconds. Just to show you how unpowerful it is, like it's very, it's actually very bad. Now, if this was 200 damage or 250 damage, then we'd be talking. I could start blasting out a thousand damage a go. Oh, it says no more rooms up on the top section. Yeah, 53 against the normal enemies would be basically nothing, but it won't. I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it for the the potential. I don't think I ever cleared this room. Maybe I have before, but I don't think I have. It's always good fun, though. All right. So. We can go back to Pish on Dry Lake as soon as we've done this. With our new and improved misery. Yeah, things just take spike damage now. I don't know what I got that unlocked that, but it's one of the castle upgrades, I think. Okay, so less apples than I'd have hoped for, but that, oh well. There's no way into here.
things dying in relatively short order is, is nice. I will, I will not argue with that one. I nearly had it. I nearly had it. I was going to look so cool if I did it without getting hit at all. But instead I just look like a dick. As per normal. My mind's in two places right now. Sorry. I can tell when I'm not playing well. I can tell. I'm not completely devoid of knowledge. that you cease. You demand. Yeah. Blah. Those noises are me. I, I just can't believe I'm taking so many stupid hits. But you know completely why you're taking stupid hits, Joey. It's because you're a fool. Yeah, I know. I think I like this version of the song better. It's very more foreboding. Scholar trinket one. Oh, I'm starting to get scholar plus one. The heady heights of getting to the sanguine plus one. I might actually be able to spend my steel one day. Then I'll need to worry about weight limit again. It's not that's something I've not worried about for a long time. Ah! Jesus Christ, Jerry. Stop it. Please. Like I said, I, I, my defense is not good. So having the ability to only attack every so often is really killing me. And it shouldn't be killing me, but it is. The only reason I say it shouldn't be killing me is because there's no good reason for it to be hurting me so badly. As long as I'm still alive, I can still do stuff, so. Everything is a bonus. Every day is a blessing. And all that. That's what they say. I don't know if I believe that, but that's okay. Yay. Improving in scaling of health would actually be quite good on some levels. You see, that's the easiest one of all time. But I don't think there's many more runes to unlock for these easy ones. All the rest of them are... Yeah, fight 17 elites without ever dying. Well. 
the chain worked well. I just want that to be eh, 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 eh. instead of a nice little low beat. I just want it to be ear piercingly loud. You might think I'm being facetious, I'm not. I really mean it. I'm getting lots of fairy chests at least. Okay, so I think we well, yeah, we're about closing in on this little loop of activity. Okay, so that section of the map's done. So now I can go back towards the right. There's some sick part of me that still clings on to hope that I could... You know, this could be the full clear. It's not. It isn't. I do see the saw blades, I just I'm magnetically attracted to them. I want to drive into them. I don't know why. There is no good reason for wanting to do it. But I see them and my brain goes, yes. Do that. I would like to see a statistic of how much health I've lost to every static defense there is. Because that sort of shit interests me. Be like, oh, you've lost 12,000 health over the course of the game to saw blades. There is no reason for you to have lost that much health to saw blades, but here you are. Ah, yeah, the double. I forgot. Vengeful. I tried to press Y, but that one has a cooldown of enemies, not seconds. So if it looked like I stood there and did nothing, it's because I tried to do something and my character went, No! But that's also my fault, so... Even still, it's a pretty piss poor run, but I uh, still got some decent gold from it. It's not going to win any awards, but you know. I had to check, I couldn't remember what it was. I didn't think it was any good, but I couldn't remember. Got to prepare for the end now, folks. Well, that might keep me alive a little bit longer. By a little bit, I mean like a second or two longer. Until I get double tapped by some enemy. Or maybe an elite kills... Uh, probably, almost certainly, an elite will still come in one go. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we'll just walk into spikes. Like an absolute buffoon. No, no. There you go. Okay. That's better. Right, so let's go underneath here. The burning axe is dead. He's dead again. Yeah, so the double hit does mean that I'm doing more damage. It just gives me a good reference point for how much damage I need to be doing to actually one-shot these guys normally. And it's somewhere in the range of 100 to 150. But closer to 150. That's my, that's my general idea. Law room. Gotta get on some of that law, you know. Okay. Admitted an audit. Automatons and absent armaments. The automatons have been reactivated, and after cutting away much of the Black Blue infestation, mining operations have started up again. More ore is being collected at an impressive rate, and that is exactly what I find troubling. The speed in which we are gathering ore far exceeds what S2 Tabal noted in his monthly reports. With this amount of resources, Tabal could have made armaments for every man and woman and child twice over, yet all the storehouses are empty. I do not know how Street Bar was hiding, but I fear it may be the key to finding our dear brother. See, I like that shit. That's that's fun. Nice. There you go. Bye bye. Right, here we go. Here's the. So I've full cleared this area somehow. I'm going to go in the mouth of the beast. But first, I want to go to Axis Mundi and try and heal. <sighs> because I need to heal. I need to do something. Can't stay like this. Otherwise, I'll just be sad. I don't want to find the soul items. No, I'm not who played as in ages. The chef. Very unkillable chef. I could always lock the uh, screen to always have a chef on it, because you can do that, but I'm not that bothered. I like the kind of pseudo-random element of it. I say pseudo-random because it's probably seeded in some way. Always check. It's a law room, so I don't think there's anything in here, but there could be. What am I doing? Okay. The health the health train is going well. Did I ever get fruit that was down here. Yeah, I guess I did. I think I did. Oh, I... 
Soon enough spin kicks will be enough to kill these guys. That'd be fun. That's good times. Right, if it's items, I'll take it. If it's weapons, I'll take them. Provided it's not explodey fists, because explodey fists are bad. this I'll take it it's risky but I need to do something that's unfortunate you can tell my armor's bad because well two enemies still hurt me quite badly Life steal is worth it to me. That's what's different. I know I'm going to suffer later down the line, but I like the the life steal, so I I take it. It's already wacky. At least, I mean, I'm going to take so much damage from everything now, but at least now my attack damage is stupid high. Like it's 250 or something attack. Or 223. Yeah, that's 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 nice. That's the good times. now a bit of a chunk machine. This is the opposite of the last episode when I was the juggernaut. Now I'm kind of like the glass cannon. And my, all of my attacks do very high damage. But I also take very high damage from every attack. Okay. That's nice. There were some um, fairy chest rooms I've only ever seen once. Just so you know. Like the uh, puzzle dungeon in World 2, that I have to go through the invisible maze and I failed it on my first go. I've only ever seen it once. I think possibly because you could never fail it after the first time. Meant to be in this game fucking sucks really badly. Like really badly. Like it's just it's just too fast between going uh, comfortable and insane. Now I know I'm not very good, but that's not. It's still kind of bad though. I just think it's not the best. I like the game a lot. I mean, it's the same as Rogue Legacy 1, to be fair. You're not playing these games for the platforming. Though they insist you do platforming. Yeah, I think my new limit for what is a good run now is, should be about 10k. On a run that I've got some gold gain. And the more runs I get, like the more I can upgrade the gold gain give me more gold. So that will be fun. It's 
still got 77% extra resolve, so I might as well use it. Okay, these guys are doing like world 5 damage now. So if these guys are doing world 5 damage, world 5 damage is going to be like 150 damage a hit. Which would be a spicy meatball. It's going to be very spicy. Well, I made it out of world 2. So what I want to do now is go to world 4. <sighs> Try and get to the law room where there's a uh, guaranteed... Brute and a guaranteed item. I didn't see you there, chest. I didn't even see it. Right, I don't. I'm not interested in full clearing. I just want to get to the law room. So I will take any coins they shower me with. Of course. I'm not a fool. There it is. Okay, cool. Chance I survive a fatal hit. That was so not worth it, it was insane. I didn't even read how much damage I would take. Because I forgot that that would also be doubled. This took a cool 500 damage. But, you know, live and learn. Or die and learn, I guess. The greed got the better of me. There's no other word to describe it. I got supremely greedy and I will die for, because of it. Now, if I somehow manage to pull myself out of this again, then maybe I deserve to win. But right now, the camp is fairly in the you deserve to die for your stupidity agreement. I definitely deserve to die. My play is not good enough to justify taking 500 damage on one hit. It just isn't. I tried to hit downwards, I was on cooldown and died. <laughs> oh well. Backed up to six though, which is very cool. Got 26k, not bad. Ah, oh, let's play as an archer. I haven't played as an archer in ages. Little, little minky, tinky archer. Upgrade that once, more gold gain forever. It's always good. Increases damage from crits. Yes, I'm an archer. All my damage is going to be crits. Hello. The blacksmith made a new belt the other day. He saw how afraid my last one was. He just gave it to me as a present. I like it a lot. It's very shiny. Right. See you guys next time when we play as the dinkiest little archer that could. See you then. Goodbye.